What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Yes, there I am, the old coot coming at you with another exciting video. This is the Hamilton Beach Easy Reach Surefire, whatever the heck it's called, toaster oven combo air fryer. You kind of get the idea. The oven itself is my current pick for the best bang for the buck. It's the highest quality at the lowest possible price. It's around $80. I'll put a link down below in the description. But the purpose of this video was if you have any toaster oven, what do you do when you turn your knob, right? Your timer knob and you put way too much time on there. Like you set it for 25 minutes, but your food is ready in let's say five minutes or 10 minutes. How do you cope with that extra time? Well, here's one tip or trick. If you, if you try to force the knob back, you're just causing premature wear and tear on the mechanism. Also, the spring that's in there that regulates the time. You, you may get a malfunction. You're basically prematurely wearing out that mechanism, potentially damaging the toaster oven itself, which means you got to buy a new one, et cetera, et cetera. So what do you do? What are your options? I'm no expert, but in my case, if I'm home, if I'm going to be going from the oven to the dinner table, eating food, whatever... What I will do is just lower the temperature. So let's say this was at like 250 or 350 or 450. What I'll do is just turn the dial all the way to minimum, right? To basically shut it off or turn off the heating element and leave it at minimum. And then just let the timer run its course. So the oven will still be on. There will still be heat in there. It may or may not turn back on. But at least for the remaining time, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, it's going to be like in this case below 150 degrees while I finish eating my meal or whatever. If the second option, if I'm going to be leaving the house, right, late for work, I threw a hot pocket in there or something similar, a piece of toast, whatever, and I'm going to be leaving the house entirely and I still have five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, you know, whatever's left on the timer, what I'll do is just unplug it. <laughs> I'll just unplug it. The light goes off. The toaster oven goes off. I know that there's no hazard, no potential risk of a fire or danger, danger. You, you get the idea. So to recap, the first option is just turn the temperature down to like the whatever the minimum setting is. If you're going to be home, let it run its course. Let the timer go through the last remaining 5, 10, 20, whatever it was. But I, I do not force the timer back. The second option is just unplug it. <laughs> unplug it. You don't have to worry about it. When you come back home, you can always plug it back in and then turn it, you know, set it for whatever you need to do. Bonus material. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button down there below. Make sure to check out the description section for a link to this. This is what I call the best bang for the buck budget toaster oven air fryer combo. This is the bonus material. This is the reason why you stay around for these videos. I always try to leave room. Like here I've got two fingers, right, of room between the toaster oven and the wall. Here I've got a lot of room, right? So there's no, there's no risk of this toaster oven heating up and causing damage to the wall or whatever. On this side, look, I've got four fingers. Also, another thing is, is look at the look at where the toaster oven is, right? It's not going to hit the air is not hitting my cabinet because it's tucked so far in there. But always leave a lot of room between your toaster and your the wood here, especially because remember, this is painted, laminated. It could have polyurethane on it. You, over time, you're just damaging your cabinet. So give your pull it out away from <laughs> underneath the cabinets. Give it some space and some room. That's just the bonus tip. Anyways, I will catch you all in the next exciting video. Remember, link to this down below in the description. Hit that like button, big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.